Hello, it's Darren from innovationtraining.org. Today, we're going to zero in on AI and how do we use AI to create ideas, to develop ideas. And our focus in this video is how do we create visuals? How do we create images using AI and some of the most popular tools out there? Well, a very popular tool is DAL-E. It runs on OpenAI. That's the platform. So you just go to OpenAI and you can access a lot of AI tools uh, from that platform, including uh, DALL-E, right? So, or you could just go to openai.com slash dall-e-2 and sign up or hit log in. That's how I've been able to get into here and create uh, some of my images. And you can see there's a, there's a history of some things I've tried to do on the side here that I'll show you in just a bit. And OpenAI also is the platform that runs ChatGPT, the big thing everybody's been experimenting with trying that uses AI to create um, text for you. Could be anything, you know, summaries, descriptions of things, computer code. I like to use it to create basic ideas that I can build from. So I'm going to start with ChatGPT, actually. And I asked uh, ChatGTP, what are ideas for DALL-E image prompts around Innovation Center? So maybe we create ideas for an innovation center uh, using this. So that's what I did is I just uh, typed it in and it gave me these ideas. So I'm gonna create another, let's get around innovation centers that are combined with a coffee shop. So we'll see what it can give us here. We'll let it work. It should pop it up pretty quickly, a list of ideas. But what I'm trying to do here is get ideas. Let's say I'm creating an innovation center in an organization, just a room that you know you can use to do bring people together to brainstorm, to do design thinking projects, workshops, whatever it might be. I don't think you need anything fancy for this. You can get people together anywhere virtually to do this. But hey, for the sake of this uh, experiment, let's try to see what we can create in a physical space. So you can see it's already coming up with uh, these image prompts. So what you do is, is just like with this chat tool, you just ask it what you'd like. So I'm going to grab one here. Let's go up to our, our Innovation Center's one. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to try this. Okay, let's think of an Innovation Center as a virtual reality space. So I'm going to go to Dolly. I've already logged in, right? And all I do is just type in whatever I'm looking for here. So I'm just going to going to paste right from uh, right from chat GPT. So it's building and some things it does well, some things it doesn't do as well. Sometimes it throws in strange text is what I find. And here's the case now, right? So, okay, it's kind of neat. It created a people using VR doing something. So that's a, a nice one here, we'll say. And if I look at the other ones, it created vine ruin, what, you know, so it always throws strange text in there. So I think with Dolly, you can actually do some more advanced editing with any of these images. So it could be a starter. And you could even just crop this out, right? So that's one way to, to do that. So let's say we were creating an idea or a concept we wanted to share around a VR-based innovation lab. We could just take this image, cut that part out, for example. So we're just seeing in real time what it can do, right? So some other things I've had it do, I was meeting up with a friend from a coffee shop and I had it create a coffee shop that had glass walls and a big fireplace in the middle in the city. And I thought it was impressive with this one. There we go. Here's some of the images it created. All right. That one I really like. So that was uh, quite impressive. I think more impressive than our innovation center. It always ruins a little bit when it adds text. So I'm going to try a different, uh, a different prompt. Let's go back to our source of ideas, chat GPT. And uh, let's see what we've got. Let's go to the coffee shop thing here. Do, 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 do. Let's try a, a, a Let's try a caption. Let's give it another chance with adding text, perhaps. So I'll show you some tips for how do you figure out how to do this a little bit better. So let's let it work right here. And I'll show you some of my other examples of things that it did. See, whenever it adds text, you know, I don't like that. But what were some things that I think it did well? Well, I was into a little Frank Lloyd Wright kick and we had it create uh, almost like a currency with Frank Lloyd Wright's face on it. In Frank Lloyd Wright style, I guess it emerged and he really loved this color, a Cherokee red color. And I think I see that here. That's incredible. We also tried, okay, what could we have a design a Frank Lloyd Wright style home and put it in a birch tree forest in the winter? I thought that was kind of impressive. 
We uh, was with a friend who was talking about uh, yoga class ideas and could you do a winter yoga class and could you have AI create that uh, Japanese print style or could you have it be created impressionism style? So these I think are incredible. So this is a, a little tip that I like is name the style, right? Monet impressionism style in a Japanese print style. There you go, Hiroshigi Japanese woodblock print style. I feel like those create beautiful images. All right, so I, I like to find shark teeth on the beach in the winter, and I had it create an impressionism style scene there. I thought that was pretty impressive. All right, so here's another version of that, and this is more digital art style. All right, so there's a lot of ways to learn how to do this, how to do this better. One thing that I also liked, I actually got started with the AI image creation with another tool, uh, this one called Midjourney, right? So just go to midjourney.com and you'll get the chance to, you know, just create the account there. And this one runs on Discord, the platform Discord. And how this works is, let's say I've already signed up for Midjourney, right? And you get a certain amount of images that you can create for free. And then there's paid plans similar with Dolly. So what you do is then you open it up on Discord, the Midjourney channel, and you just type in. So you type in the prompt. So you'll join a room that's a newbie room when you get started. So you can see I'm in newbies 114. And when you enter that room, you'll enter a prompt here where you can see the plus. But what you do is a black backslash and then things will come up, choices. So you wanna do backslash imagine. So you can just select that after you type backslash. And this is the place where you just type whatever you want the creation to be. So kind of what you just saw me do in Dali, where I was saying a man finding a shark tooth on a sunlit beat, you know, you would type that in to that space after you click slash and imagine. So here's how I learned how to create better images was I see what other people did. And this, so this is a nice thing about mid journey. You're seeing kind of the live stream of what other people are creating. And you can see this person went in depth full shot portrait, you know, all kinds of things I don't understand, right? But you're learning that they're giving it very specific instructions. They're even naming the resolution, 4K resolution, punk inspired, right? They're, they're getting very specific. You can see this person trying another version, right? Variation. And that's something you can do on Midjourney is create different variations. The U stands for upscaling the image. You can upscale an image you like one, two, three, or four, right? These are one, two, three, four. Or you can do different versions or variations. So let's say I really like this one. I could click V4 and get four more variations of that. So I really like Midjourney. It's probably my favorite tool to get started with, but I think the easiest to get started with might be Dolly because you probably already have uh, an account, we'll say with OpenAI because you might be using ChatGPT. But here, this is what I would do is I would go to Mid Journey and just see how people are creating instructions to get incredible images. And you can see when I tried my very first images, they weren't very good. It threw in some strange text, right? But after I learned some of these tools, okay, I could name the style. And you, you saw that I loved, you know, digital art, I think looks nice. Or I loved, you know, impressionism style, as you can see. So you can also just give it a name and have it create a person or create an image of a person. Those are somewhat a little unusual, right? But some of my favorites were, you know, just general things that are not going to have, uh, you know, words in them like light bulbs. Uh, you know, I, I really love these images and I use these on my website when I have a blog post about AI or idea generation. Just a simple prompt, you know, of a colorful light bulb glowing and radiating in Monet Impressionist style. You can see I love the Impressionism style. Hey, uh, with my daughter, we were creating a colorful Stegosaurus or some of her inventions, a Pegasus with bunny ears or a, real, you know, or a realistic picture. I've learned that from some of these uh, terms that you give the AI. You know, get a little more specific with it. She wanted the mermaid mashup, right? This is an idea generating technique called the mashup where we're mashing up different things uh, together to create an image. And she's learning that too herself, right? So these are some different things you can do, you can create using some of these AI tools to create images. And what I would recommend, yeah, definitely going to Discord and seeing how other people are creating images. And wow, look at how in-depth this person is going. 
I do not know what a lot of these things stand for, but you can uh, try to learn from them and be more specific in the images you create. If you have an idea that you've created, hey, why not try creating an image for it uh, using AI, using Dolly, something that has never been done before. So let me go back to my coffee shop here and let's see if we can give it one more chance. <laughs> let's see here. I'm just taking a look here. If there's anything else, uh, let's try this. Let's try the first one that they are giving us. So sometimes you get a general, you know, field that you're into, innovation centers, and then you get a more specific place that you have an idea for, and that could be a coffee shop. And then maybe we mash up. Let's mash up this idea here of the coffee shop with the 3D printer. We'll try that. So I'm going to go to Dolly here, and uh, let's add a new prompt here. I'm going to paste this one, a group of people sitting at tables in a coffee shop working on, la uh, let's say instead of working on laptops, they're working on 3D printers, printing, let's say here, uh, idea, idea light bulbs, eh, printing light bulbs, right? Let's go with that light bulb thing. In Monet, I like this, Monet's Impressionism style. Let's see what it gives us, right? So we're getting the coffee shop. They've got the 3D printers in the coffee shop. They're printing light bulbs. We're mashing up a lot of the things that I have done before, and we'll see what it is. Well, there we go. All right, so here we go. Some different styles. Let's see what we've got here. They're doing some work there. You've got the 3D printing. These are some unique light bulbs. So sometimes it gives you an idea that you didn't think of. Like I thought it'd be print, printing a traditional light bulb, but it's doing something different here. All right, you can just see what it is. Sometimes the people look quite unusual. All right, there we go. So let's try uh, one last thing here in uh, digital art style. So we'll say one person one person sitting at a wood table in a coffee shop working on a 3D printer printing a, let's say, silver light bulb, digital art style. So we're very creating a variation. So that's what I think is so great about some of these tools is it gives you something but you've got to use your brain and your mind to get more specific, right? To find the specific areas, the specific opportunities. So, okay, so now I almost like this a little bit better because we're focused on the things that I want, like the light bulb creation. Okay, there's a 3D printer, there's the computer, the wooden table, right? We're even getting specific to that level of detail. So that's when we can get some interesting things by giving it more specific Details. Okay, here's a person doing it, holding it in the hand. It's a little different kind of light bulb. Well, I like that. Silver, right? The wooden table. There's what's happening. There we go. Another one. This one is lit up, right? With a different kind of device. So sometimes it creates things that surprise you and, and take you into a new direction. This is more of a traditional one lit up. So let's say that was my idea. We we're creating an innovation center. We had a big idea for a 3D printing initiative we could create this image to be a part of that concept to share what the idea is. And then we could even go back to, to Dali, uh, from Dali to our chat GPT program and say this, describe an idea for a new kind of coffee shop that is an innovation center where each, where they have 3D printers and other innovative tech tools for people to create and innovate with. So here we go. So we're getting inspiration from the images that we created. So you can see how we bounce back and forth, right? We may start with text in our field. We get something from that. Okay, Innovation Center Coffee Shop. Okay, 3D printing. It suggested that the VR devices. Okay, let's see what it looks like in the images. Okay, now we notice that. Okay, that looks interesting. Now let's bring it back into the world of text and have it describe it. So here we go. Now it's giving us the idea for what this new kind of coffee shop could be like.
And we could maybe use this to describe this concept, right, in really clear language so people understand, okay, the maker lab, that's the, that's the term I was thinking of perhaps. So we could go deeper on oh, classes and workshops. Entrepreneurs and creators, that's who it's for. And kind of the environment, the mix. So you could almost say, okay, we could almost start to create this space. Maybe it's in our company. That's the, the direction we go. It's a coffee shop in our organization building that's going to have these devices in it. So maybe that's our big idea, right, is we're going to t turn the coffee shop we have in our company into a makerspace. We're going to have these here. Here's what the description is. We create a one-sheet concept that has this text and also an image of what it could look like um, from Dali, right? Could look like that. Could look like that. Or we could even go into our earlier images and grab an image like that or some other ones or anything I've done before, too. It could even be this scene showing the coffee shop. So that's a little bit, a dive on creating images with AR. Give it a try. Jump onto Dolly. Jump onto Midjourney, which you'll run on Discord. And just type in some things. Learn. See how it goes. And then pop back into ChatGPT, where you're getting into the text realm to give you ideas or to describe maybe the idea that you're creating. This is Darren from innovationtraining.org. Hope you enjoyed this module.